Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some very popular handbags and the celebrities or stars who inspired them. Like, I mean, have you ever wondered why the Gucci Jackie bag is named the Jackie out of all names out there? And how the Saint Laurent cape bag came to be known as the cape bag? Well, that's what we're going to be covering today. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first handbag celebrity duo I'd like to mention in this video is a very obvious one. Most of you, if not all of you, have already heard this story and know about this kind of, not collaboration, but know the story of this handbag. So for those of you still wondering, the handbag and celebrity I'm talking about are the Hermes Birkin and Jane Birkin. So Jane Birkin is an English-French actress and singer. She attained international fame and notability for her music, obviously, but also for her, her romantic partnership with the French singer, songwriter, actor Serge Gainsbourg in the 70s. But it wasn't until the 80s that she became known for the Hermes Birkin. So the, the Birkin was released in 1984 by sheer coincidence. Rumor has it that Jane Birkin was seated next to Hermes creative director Jean-Louis Dumas on an Air France flight from London to Paris. So Jane was carrying her belongings in a wicker basket handbag and her basket tipped over and her, her belongings fell out of the bag, obviously. So Jean-Louis Dumas couldn't help but suggest to Jane that she needed a bag with more pockets to be able to fill in her belongings and for them to not spill out of her bag. That's when the sketching began right then and there on that Air France flight. So Jane's only specifications were that she wanted a bag bigger than the Kelly, but smaller than her romantic partner Serge Gainsbourg's briefcase. And the last, the Birkin was born right then and there on those airplane paper bags for when you're not feeling well. And well, you guys all know the rest, I have nothing left to say. So duo number two is Jason Wu, the Diane and Diane Kruger. So Diane Kruger is an American German model and actress. She gained worldwide recognition when she won the Trophée Chopard from the Cannes Film Festival at early on in her career. In 2007, she won the Cannes Film Festival for Best Actress for her role in the movie In the Fade. Oh, and it was also her German language debut. So it's no secret that Jason Wu and Diane Kruger are really, really good friends. Some might even say they're best friends, in fact. And in 2014, Diane revealed to Elle magazine that she was collaborating with her best friend on a handbag. That handbag ended up being the Diane. It was released one year later in 2015. And ever since then, that bag has become a top seller for Jason Wu. So duo number three is Louis Vuitton SC and Sofia Coppola. So Sofia Coppola is the daughter of famous director Francis Ford Coppola. But not only that, she is also a very successful and famous filmmaker and actress herself. She is actually the third woman to ever be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Director. But what really made her a household name is when she won the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay for her movie Lost in Translation in 2004. So in 2010, Sophia collaborated with Louis Vuitton to create this duffel-like bag called the SC, which are her initials. And Sophia basically just created her ideal bag. She did get inspired from two other well-known Louis Vuitton bags, the Speedy and the Kipa, to create the SC. Duo number four is the Saint Laurent Kaya bag and Kaya Gerber. Yes, Kaya Gerber is the daughter of supermodel Cindy Crawford and businessman Randy Gerber, but she is also a very successful model herself. She is actually one of the youngest models to ever land the big four. The big four, for those of you wondering, is when one model lands the cover of the four most notable Vogues. So American Vogue, British Vogue, Vogue France, and Vogue Italia. Why is that such a big deal, you ask? Well, because that is considered one of the biggest achievements in the fashion industry. Landing the cover of one Vogue is no easy feat, so to land the cover of all four is truly impressive. So anyone that knows even just a little bit of Saint Laurent history knows that he loved his muses. And that is no different for Anthony Vaccarello, which is Saint Laurent's creative director presently. So keeping that spirit alive, he named the Kaya bag after the model Kaya Gerber, 
who was the one to carry the handbag down the runway for the first time during his spring summer 2020 runway fashion show. She also has been spotted wearing this bag in real life. And this bag has just become a cult favorite. There are so many celebrities that have been seen or photographed wearing this handbag. From Kaya Gerber, yes, but also Hailey Bieber and Lucy Boynton. So duo number five and the last duo for today is the Gucci Jackie and Jacqueline Kennedy. Jacqueline Kennedy is an American photographer, book editor, socialite, writer. She also served as the first lady of the United States from 1961 to 1963 as the wife of President John F. Kennedy. She really captured the hearts of her American public for not only her devotion to her family, but also the reason why we are sitting here today, her fashion sense. During her lifetime, she was actually regarded as an international fashion icon. So the Gucci Jackie bag was actually released in the 1950s and wasn't called the Jackie at all. It was actually called the 50s Constance. And this bag is actually very special just because it is believed to be the first ever hobo bag and it was actually designed as a unisex bag although it rapidly became very popular amongst women so it very easily became a women's bag only and in 1964 jackie o was spotted carrying the bag rumor has it she loved the bag so much she walked into a gucci boutique and bought six of them in different colors obviously so as a tribute to Jacqueline Kennedy, Gucci decided to rename the bag the Jackie since she loved and adored the bag so much and was photographed wearing it on many occasions. So that was all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave all your comments and questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer them and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!